All right, Mr. Greg Lewis. All right. Here is Greg Lewis. All right, here we go. Um, oh my gosh, look at all y'all, man. Such a heartwarming experience to meet patriots in one area. Um, I'd like to say, first of all, I won't change as well as Barack Obama. I won't change that we can believe in, but I won't change that the founding fathers will believe in as well. So few of our fellow Americans seem to understand the dangers that we face. And we must take it upon ourselves to sound the alarm and write the course of this great nation. This country was born in defiance of tyranny. That struggle created a nation which cherishes liberty above all. For they understood that without freedom, you have nothing. It's up to us to turn the ship around and go back to a small government constitutional system again. Against the advice of the founders, we the people became less vigilant. And so government, which the Constitution was meant to chain down, has ballooned into an unruly entity. It's time that uh, it's our duty as members of the Second American Revolution, the Ron Paul Revolution, to take up the fight for liberty again. that the America that my grandfather spoke of as I fell on his knee, that George Washington fought in empire to help create, that countless Americans have given their lives to defend, and that the Constitution defines. We all know what that America is. It's ingrained into our very soul. It harkens to us from the dawn of this great nation in the words of the founders. It's a nation where, the gov where we do not have to work half the year just to pay the government. It's a nation where government is small and liberty is cherished. These ideas are eternal, they are natural, they are America. Yeah. Something's going on here. There's a great awakening of the American spirit happening all over this country. The people are waking up, we're fed up with big government. We're going to take up too much, and they're destroying, controlling, manipulating, and bankrupting this nation, and they're trampling the Constitution. We're involved in an ideological battle for the future of America right now. Do we sit back and allow government to grow in size and corruption while our liberty no. is slowly eroded? No or do we stand up and shout with one voice that enough is enough, we want our country back, we want less government, lower taxes, and more liberty? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, man! Right. But no one will just hand us our country back. Once any government gains power, it never willingly relinquishes it. In this manner, government takes power from the people, eventually from whom its uh, power is derived. Eventually, government has all the power, the people have none, which is the very definition of totalitarianism. We are subject to an unconstitutional IRS. This entity robs us of our wealth. 100%.